Apple recognizes more than ever that its Apple Pencil is becoming an extension of the iPad user experience, not just some dull accessory. With tons of other features, iPadOS 14 brings several cool new gestures and actions with the Apple Pencil. In this video, we're going to be covering all the iPad Pencil gestures and features, new and old, in one handy guide. So when using the Apple Pencil, and I'll be using the second generation for this demonstration, some things remain the same from previous versions. So for instance, if you are in your notification center or the lock screen, you can just simply tap with your pencil to launch a new note, and you can go ahead and start writing. You also have the ability to screenshot anywhere you are on your iPad from dragging in from the corner, and then you can annotate it, and you can also delete it or save it. So that remains the same. You also have your Apple Pencil settings where you can change the double tap on the second generation pencil from switching between your current tool and your eraser. So it doesn't matter whether it's the pen tool or the select tool or a shape tool. You can do between the current tool and the last used. So instead of just going back to the eraser, it'll go back to your previous tool or you can show your color palette, which I'll show you what that looks like. If you're writing and you double tap, it'll bring up the color palette where you can quickly select a new color, which is kind of nice, but you also already have the color palette toolbar down here, so it's not totally useful all the time. But now you also have the scribble feature, which is brand new for the iPad. And scribble allows you to basically hand write anywhere you are on the operating system instead of physically typing with the keyboard. So if you are not using a keyboard, this is going to be a great feature because you can just quickly write as you're using your pencil. If you have a keyboard, this isn't going to be faster, but it could be more convenient. It also gives you the ability to delete text just by scratching it out. You can select by circling text. You can tap and hold in any area to create a space to write, and then you can join or merge text by slicing down. So I'll give you a demonstration of that. So first and foremost, a new feature here is the transcribing or translation into real text. So if you click this tool with the A on it here, anything you write will be translated into text. And you can see that it translated it into text. Now I can use some of those gestures that it gave me before. So I can go down to either separate or join letters. As you can see here, I'm separating a test, just like that. I can select something by circling it, and then I can drag. What also appears to work is just dragging to highlight. If I want to delete something, I just scribble it out. And if I want to add a space in between something, so I can tap and hold between the is and the a, and I can say not, and then it brings the A back, and I can tap in front of the A, and I can say test, and this is not a test. So you can see how I did that, and then I can circle everything, where I can instantly copy or paste or underline, do whatever I need to, and that's how that works, and it's pretty simple. Now when you're using the regular pen tool, it will now accept shapes, so if you draw a shape and hold it, it'll make that shape for you. And it also works for straight lines. So you can draw a graph and a grid like that. Obviously not perfect. And the same works for the highlighter. So if you want to highlight in a straight line, you can do that. Or draw a shape with the highlighter, you could do that. And finally, I'll show you what it looks like to write in any menu box throughout the OS. Doesn't matter where you are. So here in the spotlight search, I can just put in pizza and you can see it goes to pizza right there and it gives me all my options. And again, I can erase it by doing that. And I'll say chicken. And I can do the same thing. I can select it. I can put a space in between something and undo that space, things like that. And this works on Twitter, works on the web, it works anywhere. I download blog.com. So this isn't the most efficient system all the time, but you can just see how it works and different applications, it can become quite useful. So that is the Apple Pencil and its gestures for the iPad. It works pretty well. You have the double tap on the second generation pencil. You have the dragon. And now you can write in any text box across the whole OS. You can draw shapes and notes, and it can live transcribe your writing into text.